Hi, uh, Friday people, I hope you're well. Um, you know the fascination that I have with the language of protest. And there are three things that have been really interesting this week. The first was the reminder that one of the most effective ways that minority groups have of making their presence felt is to adopt and twist the words which have been used to insult them. And so the N-word, I'm going to say it, nigger, with an A on the end, has been adopted now for perhaps a decade by black kids in South London who can greet each other with, you know, hey nigger, I can't say that, that's not my territory. Interestingly, interestingly, there's a group of white kids in South London, uh, tell me if they're elsewhere as well, who like and imitate the voice patterns of black South London kids and they're called of course wiggers and so you, you're on the train and you hear this conversation going on the phone behind you um, to find it's not a 17 year old black urban kid at all it's some 14 year old white kid who's adopted the whole of that very interesting and of course in North London the supporters of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club most of whom aren't Jewish, but have become associated with that, because if you are Jewish in North London, it, it is Tottenham that you support. You are part of the Yid army. But some Jewish supporters of Chelsea, for example, poor misguided folk that they are, um, have protested that when the Tottenham crowd starts chanting, we are the Yid army, that's offensive because that's a word they've taught their children not to respond to or to protest at. Whereas in fact the Tottenham crowd have just adopted the word and turned it into their own. Be proud, be part of the Yid army. Um, so quite interesting. At Saturday's um, London Pride, which was, I have to tell you, awesome beyond belief, I saw a new twist on the protest, the language of protest. Some people in our group had written on the placards and what have you, and one lad had, I say lad, I'm making assumptions, had on a, a properly printed t-shirt this kind of slogan, um, smash the system, which I thought, I like that cleverness. I don't think he probably thought it up. And I saw several other people writing it on too. Uh, their placards and whatever because for reasons that I quite understand that may be unfair if the gatekeepers to your health system the gatekeepers to your education maybe even your un misunderstanding members of your family all happen to be cis 90% of the 99% of the population it's very easy to see that they are the bad people in the world and I thought that's interesting how a word of simple description is being turned increasingly into a word of disparagement and so on. Um, and of course what you wouldn't say is that that 99% of the population are normal. Because that begs the question, what's normality? And there may be no such thing. I was with a group uh, last week, I mean I told you, of lesbians, one of whom works on some kind of help switchboard and was questioning the caller and eventually got to the thing about sexuality and the the uh, uh, caller said normal and when the person who was telling the story recounted that to us, there was a kind of sharp intake of breath all around the room, so she said oh normal, right um, I'll put you down as gay then. <laughs> That's how you fight it. You fight it with humour. Um, gender is fluid. Sexuality is fluid. Uh, love is fluid as well. And you choose who you want to love and how. But the important thing is that you do love. <laughs> it's going to be a great weekend. Enjoy. Bye bye.